In this video, I show you how to build a system to monitor your network devices for free. Here are the steps to do it. Step 1, download and install the VirtualBox software. You download and install like other regular software. This is free software. Step 2, download and install the Ubuntu server operating system. Visit ubuntu.com, find and download Ubuntu server. Next install Ubuntu server on the virtual machine. You follow the steps above. VirtualBox bridged networking mode allows VM to connect to your router. You save the account to use in the following steps. Note, install the SSH server for later purposes. The installation is complete and this is the IP address of the Ubuntu server. You need to download and install PuTTY to install Zabbix on Ubuntu server. Enter the IP address of Ubuntu server here. Enter the account information you created during the installation of Ubuntu server. You need to create a password for the root account. Next, visit zabbix.com and follow the installation guide.
you just need to copy and paste the commands. As I am doing. So, we have installed Zabbix. The next step, we will permanently assign an IP address to Zabbix. To do this, Use the bind IP to MAC function on the router. Most types of routers have this function. The installation is complete, I move on to adding network devices. So how to monitor a computer with Windows 10 installed. And this is the way to monitor it. The simple network management protocol SNMP, that has accompanied IT professionals for decades, 
is available on a large number of devices and solutions. This is great because it's one of the most basic technologies for monitoring and other network management tasks. Open the settings on your Windows machine. Click Apps. Choose Manage Optional Features under Apps and Features. Click Add a Feature. Select Simple Network Management Protocol SNMP from the list. Click Install to enable SNMP on your computer. After installing the SNMP service, configure it appropriately. So, run services.msc as administrator and navigate to the properties of the SNMP service. Choose automatic as startup type to have the service always running, even after turning your computer off and on again. For monitoring purposes, you should also check all services on the agent tab to have all SNMP values available. Don't forget to adjust security parameters like the community string and the IP filter list to your security compliances. For example, add the community name public with red only rights and accept SNMP packets from at least the address of your monitoring server. That's it. You have successfully configured SNMP on your Windows machine. And now I will add this computer to the network monitoring system. So what about the router? Similar to Windows machine, I enable SNMP on the router.
and now I will add the router to the network monitoring system. You can now monitor information about your network devices, including, bandwidth, memory, CPU, etc. Finally, we create maps for your network devices. Hope this video will help you. Thanks for watching, don't forget like and subscribe.